Hey, KIC here, and we're playing Ark Survival Evolved. This game is in early access, was released on June 2nd, so if you're watching the day this is posted, that would be today. And this is not the first time I have played this game, and in fact, I was just recording this episode when the game crashed on me, and by crashed, I mean spectacularly crashed. I just went black screen, whole computer died, just froze, nothing, couldn't... Control alt delete and couldn't uh, alt tab couldn't do anything to get out of the game. I was just stuck where I was at. That was it. So first thing I'm going to tell you, aside from that, the game just crashed, and that's why I have levels and points and things to spend, is that this game was provided to me. I did get a key that was given to me, and just going to tell you too. Even though I was given a key. There's no requirements that go along with that, so it's just a key. I'm encouraged to play and enjoy, and that's basically it. So I'm just playing and trying to see if I enjoy playing, and I don't know. It's a little it's a little early to say for certain at this point. I have had a little bit of time today. was playing just trying to get the feel for things before I sat down and kind of talked with you guys just to show you what's going on. I figure it might be a good idea to have at least a partial clue about what I was doing. Now, this is, as I said, in early release. Right now, this is a multiplayer-only game. So, if you don't have a particularly good internet connection or you're away a lot such that you're not with an internet connection when you're playing your games, then you probably want to wait for a little while. The devs are going to add a single-player version at some point. Couldn't tell you when, because I don't really know what their timeline is. But it is something that they're going to do eventually. That looks like that is not a very friendly dinosaur, and I'm about to have some problems because it's going to spit at me. And I don't really have a good weapon except for this hatchet, which I don't think is the best weapon around. Okay, there we go. I was able to kill it, and it's level 7. Not bad. Good deal. Now, I'm trying to get the stuff so I can collect a spear, and you can see I chopped up the body. That's because that's how you get resources from the animals that you end up killing, so... You gotta chop their body up. Now you can drag the body too, which is kind of cool if you want to maybe drag the corpse somewhere, or if you're high enough level, you can actually knock the animal out. You don't necessarily need to be high level to knock them out. You just use your fist or a sling or some other sort of weapon that just does blunt damage. And then you can drag that corpse around and, or, well, I guess if you knocked it out, it's not a corpse, but you can drag that body around. And then if you have them knocked out, you can put food on their, ah, oh, crud. You can put food on their body and try to tame them. Let's go ahead and see if I can get two of them. Nope, I am not doing well. I'm having a little trouble with combat in this game. There you go, and I died because it spit on me. So all that stuff I just collected and crafted, it's now gone. Now when you die, you can create a new survivor. If you do that, then you basically start over. Everything is reset. So if you do what I did, which is choose to respawn in a random location, then you basically have everything lost and you got to start all over with your stuff, but you still have your points. So let's talk about that quickly here. You have a handful of stats here. Most of these are fairly self-explanatory. Weight is how much you can carry. Fortitude, I'm guessing that's a general resistance. I'm not 100% sure on that. And Torpor is... The higher that gets, the more likely it is you are to be knocked out. Now over here we have the skill tree. In this game they use engrams. That's what they call them. It's not a strict tree insofar as you don't go this to that to this. You basically just need a level before you unlock these things. So I have a stone hatchet, which I unlocked just a moment ago, and a spear, which I also unlocked just a moment ago. Then you have more necessary things like campfire, clothing, foundation for thatch, door frame, walls hatches, a variety of things. And as you keep gaining levels, you have different materials available and different other items that will unlock. Now, if I could pick up any of these stones, which I seem to be having trouble doing, which makes me think that this game is about to crash again, because this is what it was doing last time. I don't know, maybe not. Maybe that was when the server died. I don't know. It was... It's an early game. I was playing earlier, right before they released the game to the public, and they 
basically said they were going to bring the server down soon. They didn't say when, and then all of a sudden I was just unable to do anything. I couldn't pick up stuff. I couldn't collect things. I couldn't switch to anything. It just all of a sudden was gone. So there you go. I, I thought maybe that's what was going on, but no. I think I was just trying to pick up a stone from something that isn't actually there. Now I have no idea how respawn works in this game in that I don't know if I punch down a tree, will another one grow? I really have no clue. I haven't played enough to find the answer to that, but I would imagine that sort of stuff would come back eventually just because you're going to run out if you don't. There we go. I know I got a stone there. Let's see if I can go ahead and craft a pick again. Do kind of need that. Now, one of the things to keep in mind with the pick is even though it is really designed for using on stone, you can use it on a tree. Now, why would you want to do that? That's a good way to get thatch, and thatch is used in a lot of recipes, so you definitely will need to collect thatch as you're going, and I know, I need to level up. I'll take care of that in a minute, but I'm hopeful that I can get some flint over here so I can show you the other things, because I kind of already had a hatchet on me, and I'd like to make a spear. There we go. Get rid of that gigantic rock, and then I'll show you here, as I chop at this tree with a pick, you can see I'm getting a lot of thatch. Now, collecting all the materials and various things here. That's how I'm getting experience points. In the bottom left-hand corner, you can see that little icon there. That means it's hot, so I should probably, I don't know, find some water, not be sitting in the sun, you know, all that sort of fun stuff. I don't have what I need to make a spear, so I need more wood, but now that I have a hatchet again, I can go ahead and switch to my hatchet, and I'll just chop this tree down right quick here. There we go, and now I should be able to make my spear, which is a much better weapon than using a hatchet, if only because you get a little bit more range out of it. Plus, you can throw it, which, that's kind of fun. In fact, if I get a chance, I'm going to make another one, just because I think that would be a good idea. Now, you don't have to keep the inventory open while you're crafting. That's just something I've more or less been doing here. Oh, yes, the good old weapon flip. Every time you switch to something, you get a weapon flip. That's kind of obnoxious. It looks cool about the first time, and then you're kind of like, I, I don't really care anymore. There we go. I'm trying to collect the fibers there. Let's go ahead and level up. I like movement speed, so I've been hitting movement speed. Okay, so I think water skin would be good because you do need to eat and drink. Now, I don't have what I need to make a water skin. I need a hide. Now, to get a hide, I need to go kill things because... Well, you don't just get hides from trees. That would be silly. But let's go ahead and run down here a little bit, just so I can kind of run down to the beach side here. Now, it's kind of interesting. I haven't seen anyone yet. I don't know if that's because I just haven't found anyone in this server, or maybe no one is playing on this one except for me. I'm not 100% sure. The servers are set at 70 players. This is how you drink, by the way. You shove your head underwater, and then you drink, apparently. But when I was playing earlier, I was definitely finding people, and... You know what? Let's go ahead and kill this guy. It's just a big turtle. I can take care of it, I think. Except that my spear just broke. Guess you need to be careful about where you're hitting him, huh? And there we go. I was killed by a giant turtle. Well, that was fun. So this is kind of what happens early in the game. You try and figure out its mechanics and what you can and can't do. Does make it interesting, but... Sometimes it makes it a little, oh, I don't know, we'll say frustrating, but that's just because, like I said, I'm trying to figure out its mechanics, so I'm sure once I have a better idea of how everything works in the game, I won't necessarily be doing crazy things like that. I'd probably, I don't know, maybe throw spears at that thing or try and find a couple people and tack it from the side because it sure looked like my spear broke as soon as I hit the shell. And I can tell you from having killed, oh, I don't know, a variety of those little Dilo guys, the ones I was attacking earlier. Well, spears don't break that quickly, so I'm sure that's what that was all about. There we go. Knock that tree down. Let's go ahead and... Oh, I thought I already collected a stone. I guess not. Well, let's collect a stone and get back. Oh, that is an unfriendly over there. I'm going to leave him alone just for the moment. Because I need to find a rock somewhere, and I am not finding any. 
Now, something that I should mention here, you can see I'm moving a lot faster now. That's because I'm sprinting. When you sprint in this game, you burn through food and water exceptionally quickly. More so than in other games from what I've played. Berries. I don't want berries. I want stones. I need a rock. I need a stone. I need something I can use to make a pick. Or a hatchet. Well, I guess I need a pick. That way I can then make a hatchet. Or... I, yeah, I need flint to get the hatchet and then flint to get a spear, so this just is not working out well. There we go. Got a couple of stones, so let's go ahead and get another pick crafted. Get that guy queued up and keep going here. Now, you do, you do also have falling damage in this game, so be careful of that. You don't want to just go jumping over the cliffside. I guarantee you'll die if it's a far enough fall. In fact, I kind of did that just to test, and yeah. I died. I mean, I knew I was going to, or at least strongly figured I would, and sure enough, I did, so. Go and grab some more thatch, and then let's find a rock that I can hit on. Not one of these, because that's part of the environment. Switch to my hands momentarily so I can pick up some of those stones. This is going to be a rock I can destroy, I think. Here we go, get some flint out of this. Chop, 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 and away. Let's go ahead and make the hatchet first. Assuming I can make one. There we go. So I'm willing to bet I'm going to need more wood before I can make a spear. So let's go ahead and chop this guy down. Let's see if that'll be enough. I'm not sure. I might ne end up needing some more fibers here. Okay. Chop that guy down. Let's go ahead and get a spear going. Now I'm actually pretty close to a level again. So the first handful of levels do go fairly quickly. Especially if you die and you keep doing this stuff all over again. And of course you can instead go kill things or maybe collect stuff instead of constantly dying and rebuilding things and just build new stuff. And that'll get you a little bit more experience than just constantly redying and remaking the absolute basic stuff would. Okay, what do you say we go find something to kill where I can get some hides and maybe make water skin. I think that would be helpful. Now, I will, assuming I keep playing this game, and again, this one was provided to me, so I'm not 100% sure what I think just yet. I am enjoying it, but I don't know if I'm enjoying it. I don't know how much I'm enjoying it. It's still too early to say, but what I would like to do, assuming I keep playing, is kind of go over some of the more, I don't know, kind of interesting parts with the crafting system and just the kind of fun stuff like that. I think, from what I have seen so far, crafting in this game, or maybe I should say building, is pretty interesting. It takes a while to do everything because you have to collect a lot of resources. You can kind of see, just as I'm running along, I'm collecting a lot of stuff. And that's just because that's how it works. You have to have a lot of materials before you can build anything. And realistically, it's going to be a while before I can build a base, and that's even assuming I can build a base. I don't know if there are any land claims or anything like that. Something that basically makes it so your stuff is harder to break for players or, you know, essentially uh, maps out part of a location for you or, you know, sets aside part of a location for you. I'm not really sure how that works just yet. But that's something that I hope to figure out as I keep going here. Okay, look at that. Got another level. I'm just going to keep collecting some more flint because I'd actually like to make a bunch of spears. It sure seems like they're reasonably effective when you throw them, so I'd like to go ahead and get a few more crafted up, because you can carry them, and I'll show you here as soon as I'm done. Let's do that. Let's craft another spear. We'll do that, and we'll do two of them. We'll get that going. Okay, so that would be one spear, and see, I'm still moving slowly. There you go. Now I got three spears, and you can see them, that I have three spears on my bar right there. That's pretty cool. Now you can throw the spear and you can get it back. It's a little clunky for me trying to figure out exactly how to to best do that, but it does sure seem to work. I wonder... Oh, look at that. Here, let's go ahead and kill a fish. I killed a coel and I have its dossier now. Interesting. Let's go ahead and drag the body. So we'll do that. We'll do drag. So this is one of the things you can do. I was telling you earlier, you can drag bodies around. Now, in this case, you would probably want to drag the body because 
you were planning on, oh, I don't know, cooking it, something along those lines. But I'm not, so I'm just going to go ahead and chop it up here. Well, I guess all it has is meat, so I don't know, maybe. We'll figure that out later. Now, I was kind of wondering if this is where I died, and if so, can I find my stuff? Part of the problem of playing in this random world is you have no idea where you die when you don't have the means to force yourself to respawn where you want to just yet. Look at that, that's where I died. I'm gonna go ahead and take all that stuff. Look at that, I actually found my corpse. Now, I'm curious. Now look at that, I just got meat out of the corpse. That's kind of disturbing. Can I eat myself? Sure seems like I can. Now look at that, I have my own... Huh. I don't know how that works. I have two of those. That's a little bizarre to me, but whatever, I guess. So I'm just taking a quick look here. I don't have any hides on me, or didn't have any hides on me, but got an extra hatchet, got an extra pick. Maybe you haven't seen me killing those dilos yet. I don't know. I'm actually losing track of things a little bit because, as I've said, I've had a couple of issues. Oh, look at that. That's some big dinosaur feces. I don't want to carry that right now. Well, it is medium. That's pretty good size. It's only a pound. Why not? Now, why would you want to carry feces around? Well, that's for farming, because you need fertilizer for stuff to grow in. Kind of makes sense, right? Let me see if I can find a dialo. Like I said, I, I've been playing and having some issues, and I think that's what happened when it crashed last time. As I was playing, and I was trying to kill a dialo, and uh, yeah, it crashed or something. I, I don't know. That's... It's all starting to blur together, unfortunately. There you see a pterodactyl flying in and landing. I really do enjoy running around. Oh, maybe I can kill this guy before it flies off. Nope. Away it goes. wonder if it'll land. Let's follow it for a moment. As I was saying, though, I really do enjoy seeing all of the animals around. It's pretty cool. And you get these big old dinosaurs. That's actually a pretty small one. Haven't even run by one of the brontosauruses or other similarly large creatures. They're around, though. They are definitely around. There are other creatures as well. Saw some fish earlier. I think in the distance you probably saw some dodo birds. They're definitely around, too. So it's not like it's just dinosaurs or just humans. There are some other things to be found. Now, I'm getting hot here because I'm running around and I'm running around in the sun, but hoping to run up the hill here and kind of jump into the shade. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to climb this. It's kind of awkward how some of this works sometimes. You could see, there we go, frames were just kind of dying there. That seems to happen every handful of minutes, maybe every 10, 15 minutes if I'm just going to guess. I'm not sure what the cause of that is. I don't know if that's on my end, if that's on the server's end. I'm really not sure what the big deal is, or what the, the actual deal is with that. Now, I am in the shade. I'm not sure if shade is good enough to cool down. It doesn't seem to be, but then again, maybe I need to stop running around like a fool, and that would help. Over on the right-hand side there, you can see my various bars. You can see that food and water are getting kind of low. Food, maybe not so much, but water definitely is. Now, all this stuff spoils, so you got to make use of it reasonably quickly. So let's go ahead and just chomp, chomp down on those berries. Now the reason I'm doing that is one for food, and two, you also get water from them. So let's just go ahead and do all of these guys too. I'll just do all of them. Bunch of berries, that way I'll be pretty much full up on food, but also have quite a bit of water going on, which that's a good thing. So at this point, I really haven't taken any sort of skills that will help me set up any sort of place to kind of live. And I should also mention, I'm playing in the western western section. Basically, there's four areas you can play in. North, south, east, west. I opted for west because west was not available when I was playing before this launched into official early access. Probably don't need all those stones, but, you know, might as well grab them. Why not? Just going to kind of climb up here. See what's on the other side. Whoa, hello, there we go. That is, yeah, a little better now. Not sure what that was about. But anyway, 
So this is just kind of a quick look at the game. Ah, oh, there we go. Perfect. I was hoping to find one of these. And she totally nailed me. Oh, crud. I actually ran into a bunch of them. I'm going to die and lose all this stuff I have spent my time gathering because there are a bunch of dilos right there. Yep. I guess that's where I died. I'm not 100% sure. Let's see if I can tell on the map. The map I have found is... Mm, not the most useful thing in the world. It's kind of a shame that I lost all that stuff. See, I don't even know where I'm at on the map. Couldn't tell you. No clue. Assuming I'm even on the map, I don't know. But I'm going to get at this and play a little bit more. Probably do a couple more episodes of this one. At least I think I will. At least so long as I'm enjoying it all, I'll, I'll be doing some episodes, so... Definitely would appreciate your feedback. If you're enjoying it, let me know. I'm sure I'll be running into more people as I keep moving along here. But it definitely, uh, you know, game has a little bit of work that it needs. You can see on the chat window people are complaining about performance, even with their variously powerful video cards. And, well, as the one person said, it is early access, but just the same. The devs do know that it is not running well and... They say they're working on it, so got to give them at least a little bit of time to take care of things, because otherwise, you know, it is alpha, so you can't judge it immediately based on what you're saying. But I want to call it an episode right here. I'm going to keep playing for a little bit, maybe record another one or two, and then I'll kind of reevaluate after that. So thanks for watching. See you later.